of the galaxy we call the Milky Way. John Herschel, also an astronomer, not quite as well known as William, but uh, in my field we all know who and what he is and what he accomplished. One of the things he did in the early 1800s was essentially invent color photography. He made major contributions to putting an image of reality onto something that captured that reality for others to share. Arguably one of the most important inventions for the recording of scientific data there ever was. That was in 1839. He called it the cy cyanotype. Time would move on. Other, uh, we would not perfect color photography for a century after that, really. But photography was born in the mid-1800s. The first war to be captured by photography was the American Civil War, the 1860s. Film was not very sensitive to light, so you had to sit for long periods of time. That's why there were no action photos from the middle of the 1800s. And in fact, if you were posed for the photo and you just like scratched your nose, you were a blur in the image. Now, why? I'm, I'm taking you down this road because in that era, for the first time, a portrait of you did not require an artist. You would hire an artist, if you were wealthy, to paint your picture. And you'd want it to be accurate or make you possibly look a little better. <laughs> Over that period, from 1840 through the 1860s, all of a sudden, art did not have to capture reality. It was no longer the obligation of the artist because we had photographs to do that. And in that period, Impressionism was born. Where the artist said, I'm not gonna paint what I see. I'm gonna paint what this image feels like to me. 1888. We're still in this period. Van Gogh, in the early morning hours. Van Gogh paints. I know some of you were worried I didn't have a cosmic tie on or my vest. I wasn't going to let you down. All right, so he paints this. It's called The Starry Night. And I bring up this painting for several reasons. First, we know it was painted in the pre-dawn hours because that's the only way the moon can be angled that way towards the horizon in the northern hemisphere. That makes this pre-dawn. We're pretty sure the brightest of these stars is Venus. Venus, the planets are typically what come out first in the evening, which is why most of your wishes have not come true. You've been wishing on <laughs> planets. All right, so. <laughs> that's just how that works, I'm just. But planets are, can also be in the early morning sky, as was this painting. By my read of paintings ever drawn, when I look at this, there's a foreground. There, there, there's a cypress tree. There's a village. There's a church steeple. But he didn't call the painting... Sleepy village, <laughs> cypress tree, <laughs> church steeple, hills. 
It is the first painting that I know of. I don't claim perfect knowledge, but I looked hard. It's, it's, <laughs> it is the first painting I know of where the background is the subject of the painting. And that background is the night sky. <laughs> and it has is, it is elevated the cosmos to become fair game to the artist. And I submit to you that science, scientific discovery, especially cosmic discovery, does not become mainstream until the artists embrace the fruits of those discoveries. So I applaud Vincent van Gogh for thinking that the sky is what mattered more than anything else in the foreground for this painting. And one point of which I will end on because my time has run out. What do I think about the Van Gogh sky? Clearly that's not accurate. My reply was, in the case of the artist, I don't want them to represent reality because I have that via my own telescopes. I want and I need the artist to take me to new places. And the new place Van Gogh took me is not the sky as it is, but the sky as he felt it. And the more of us that feel the universe, the better off we will be in this world. Thank you. I just, uh, I think we have some time left. Um, uh, I do want to say two things. First of all, you'll notice Pluto is not on this shirt. And second, and, and, um, and secondly, get over it. And, uh,